Welcome to the documentary of the dog and the walk. Uh, this commences with the dog requesting for the walk, uh, which is started off by a combination of barks and tail wagging, but clear, clear request of get me out of here. It will be so much fun. This is then followed by clear excitement from sight of said lead that this is actually going to happen. So the dog will make it well known that it is in clear agreeance that the process of the dog walk is about to commence. And this is satisfied dog. The walk has commenced very happy. There is much to do for the dog on the dog walk, in particular to sniff and eat things of an unknown nature, but they are considered a delicacy, even if the dog nor its owner knows what it is. Um, interesting things can happen along the dog walk, uh, in particular if it happens that the owner has checked the weather radar and the weather radar has indicated that there are no rain showers about, but during the walk, God has happened to bless us with a rain shower. Uh, what happens in these situations is the, is the dog becomes slightly wet, the owner becomes slightly wet, and this affects the owner's mood because the owner becomes cold. Um, but further to that, well, the interesting part is with, in particular, the Australian version of the dog, is that it, uh, even if it's slightly wet or even completely wet, it has no feeling. It still continues to enjoy the walk, finding numerous things to sniff and listen to. Um, but the walk continues no matter how drowned the person following the Australian dog is. After many attempts of undertaking the dog walk, uh, the dog does learn things. In particular, when it gets close to home, it does remember when it is home and that it would be, and it is a wonderful place to be because you can rest and have a drink. At the end of the walk, uh, this behavioral process begins, which is, contains a lot of splashing and use of a tongue and also the dog's ears become extremely thirsty as well. This is a refreshment method um, it's commonly known as drinking. Um, it helps with hydration and stops the dog from um, dying. Um, but what we also must recognize at this point of the, uh, the video is um, the need for action to save our planet because the act of of the dog walking is both good for the dog and its owner in particular because um, with the fact of climate change and weather like what we've encountered um, dissuades humans and domestic animals for going out and partaking in exercise. Um, this is quite evident from the example of the dog that's been used today and the fact that it is classed as fat from lack of walking. So the benefits of, uh, of, uh, of walking is definitely that it increases the use of good carbon, carbon dioxide, uh, which the trees will suck up and create more oxygen. Um, also one thing we recognise is the fact that there were no kangaroos or many native birds on our walk. What this has indicated as the planet has become hotter um, all the kangaroos around this area and all most of the native birds, uh, particularly on hot days, have burst into flames 
and therefore become extinct on the area. So, um, but also as you can see now, a behavioural technique that's been used by the dog is that of resting, which is extremely important when the dog is fat because it is now close to exhaustion. Um, so I think it's important that the, as a human race we do recognise the importance of the dog walk um, and preservation of both the human being species and the dog. So please be mindful and let's go and look after our planet.